Hey folks, just a reminder to check out my other channel, How to Rock Spirit, where I talk about everything under the sun, from astrology to mysticism to psychedelic yoga to practical materialism and philosophy too. Hope to see you there. Namaste. Hey howdy hey folks, my name is Dustin Cormier and welcome to How to Rock a Campfire. Today I'm going to show you guys an original tune. I've been trying to show uh, some original tunes to kind of do a songwriter showcase. Uh, to show people that songwriting is not as distant as it seems. You know, I think anybody can write a song. Just like uh, learning to do yoga, after you do a posture over and over you start to learn the subtlest intricacies of the thing and eventually the, polish, the posture becomes a lot more polished because you've ran through it so many times. Songwriting is the same thing, man. Once you learn to catch the thread and chase the dragon, then you get better and better at it every time that you try it and, th and that you do it. And uh, so, uh, oh, yeah, first thing I want to say is that I'm ripping my, my, I'm repping my Crownlands shirt. Uh, my buddies uh, from around here, uh, their name is Crownlands. Um, they're both excellent fellas and excellent musicians. One's a wood boar on the drums. And the other is a wood dog on the guitar, on the electric guitar. Uh, and uh, they're just very talented people. And, and they rock and roll. Uh, I, I always like to say, you know, I, like I could say a lot about all the bands around my place, but I don't want to be like a human billboard. But these guys are an exception because they actually kick ass. Uh, if you don't believe me, check out, uh, I'm going to put a YouTube description of, uh, or in my YouTube description, I'm going to show a link to their new song mantra and they got a whole video for it and everything um so check out crownlands the kick ass <clears throat> so anyway this is a this is a song called spoke in the wheel i like these kind of i actually say this on video i like these sort of cosmic -y sort of tunes you know um and this one i wrote in just sort of a pit of shittiness um you know the best songs are either in a moment of ecstatic bliss or of just traumatic depressive shittiness you know man manic depression um and it happens to us you know life happens shitty shit happens even when life is kind of okay feels like the walls are closing in you just want to go out and expand i've been in that kind of mode lately but that's how songs are written you know sometimes it just happens that way and this one's called spoke in the wheel um so i do a lot of crazy change-ups in this song um, oh yeah, <laughs> I almost made this mistake last time. Uh, it's got a capo on the third fret, and I'm going to find that capo right about now. Now, uh, got it. <laughs> okay, so this tune is on the third fret. So, I start this song, um... Yeah, so I start this song, um, with, uh, G, and I'm basically, well, I guess I'll show you what I'm doing, and then I'll kind of show you. <laughs> I'll explain what I'm doing. doing like all that those little notes that I'm playing with it sounds complicated it's really just like easy little hammer-ons uh, you're going G uh, and I'm going G uh, down, 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 and that's what I'm doing is I'm hitting this D note once and then uh, hammering on the second fret with uh, my first finger second fret of the D string so it's like G D E D right D string two frets up from it and then open D. G and then what I'm kind of doing too is I'm almost like syncopating the actual hitting of the notes like I do it open like open 
the strings and then quickly go right back like I hammer on the, the notes on the strings uh, to give it that down <laughs> That's what I feel, I guess. Um, so we go into the F chord, and there's a syncopation there. One, two, three, four, one, two. Right? You see how I'm just hitting the C on the like the one E and the two E and the three E and the four E and a one E and the two E and the three. Syncopation's cool like that. Um, so G. And then when I, right when I go to that C chord, I hit the C, like the C chord with an open D note with my finger, my second finger taken off. And that allows me to do that little hammer on. It sort of sounds like the same as the F. So it's like a hammer on to the second fret, and then I do an open G note there. first or the second or whatever for a second time I go to that C I'll go uh, hammer on and then open G hammer on open G and then I use my second finger and I hit the second fret of the G string and slide up and I slide up to the fourth fret back down to the second fret and then back to the open G Do a dramatic time change right here, and uh, it's weird. Um, luckily, my buddy Dale, that's playing with me in this cover, he uh, he he was able to pick it out, even though it's such a weird change. Um, I go uh, from this whole thing G, F, C, and then on the last one, I like to really calm it out, and then I go instantly into the D chord in a completely different groove because we can do that. Music is amazing like that. I've got one whole rhythm that's just in its own thing, and then out of nowhere it goes, I'm just a smoke in the wheel, in by circumstance. Right? Um, whole different flow, and it's kind of even like a different key, you know? This G to the F to the C, that's like in the key of C, right? And then it goes right into the key of D out of nowhere. D, E minor, uh, C, G, and B minor. Um, that's kind of the progression I got there. Um, <clears throat> it should actually be a B7, but I think I dropped it in the video, but whatever. Anyway, um, part of the flow, um, we go from D, D, 1, 2, 3, 1. Oh, I actually changed the timing. That's what's going on here. Uh, is that I'm going from 4-4. Four, four. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, doing there uh, and we uh, I completely change it to uh, I go to that D chord it goes into 3 4 because we can do that you know art is amazing like that because we can make whatever we want and as long as it kind of flows together and this I think this flows pretty good together it's a very dramatic change but it's like the Beatles you know they had a lot of stuff where you would go from 3 4 to 4 4 out of nowhere but somehow it works uh, and hopefully that's kind of what I got going on anyway um, uh, we're going D, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, G to the B7. And Jesus never gives me my prayer. The stars are my father. And then, so after the stars are my father, and uh, you stay in the uh, you stay in the sea for that part. The stars are my father. And one, two, three. So we go into four four. 
out of nowhere, right? I'm not welcome in my home An alienated son out on my own So what I'm doing there is G I'm not welcome in my home So it's like B minor 7th, right? This is your B minor Take off that 3rd or 4th finger And that adds the... You're going from... If this was an, you know, well, anyway, that's a B note. When you take off that B note, it goes the A, obviously, because this is the second fret, uh, two frets down from B is A, right? B, B flat, A. So A is the seventh, that's the B minor seventh. G, welcome in my home. And then I go, um, that's B minor seventh, so then the next one, well, I guess we should, I should be talking about the actual capo chords, but I'm trying to think of it in terms of what it is in the chord shapes of my fingers, you know? This is a G, B minor 7th, and then this next chord, if you're considering it this way, it's D minor 7th, right? Except I like to do it up here. It gives it like that high sound. So that's D minor 7th to the C major 7th. And then I go A minor. And I'm not ready to change unless you trust. You'll promise to change with me. And then that's when we kind of come back into the same kind of groove as we had in the intro. Uh, we're going to A minor. And then this chord, what it is, is uh, D 7th with an F sharp on the bass. Uh, it's a common chord that you kind of hear a lot. It's a pretty common thing to go from that A minor to that D seventh with an F sharp on the bass. Think of, you know, this is your D chord. The third fret is the D. Two frets down from the D is the C. Right? And that's the C is the seventh of the D chord. And all I'm doing is I'm basically I'm replacing my third finger with my fourth finger and my second finger with my third finger. So playing the D chord like this, and this frees up my second finger to go on the second fret of the E string, which would be, of course, F sharp, right? So this is a D chord with an F sharp on the bass. And F sharp is the third of D, so uh, it's not too weird for an F sharp to be on the bass with a D chord on the face, because it's sort of like a D chord with its own third, the third of the D, right? D, E, F sharp, first, second, third, right? Uh, the e, D, e, D, e, F sharp, so F sharp is the third, and the third is a natural chord in the D anyway. You'll notice when you do your D chord, like this is an open E string, the, uh, obviously, um, when you hit the open E, the first fret is the F, and the second fret is the F sharp. There's no E sharp, right? Um, so... F sharp is a natural part of the D chord anyway, so that's why it's a common thing to put the F sharp on the bass with a D on the face. So it's a D seventh with an F sharp on the bass. And I'm not ready to change unless you promise to change with me. And that's when we come back into the the intro riff feel. And please excuse my disease. changes from that original thing. And don't mind my fleas, I think they're part of me. I'm just a cog in the gears. Right, so that's, it goes in, back into that 3-4 thing. Um, and please excuse my disease, and don't mind my fleas, I think they're part of Part, it's uh, basically a G6 with a B on the bass. So think of a G chord. Uh, we've taken off the high G so that the open E is open there. So that's like a G6 because when you think in the G chord, G, A, B, C, D, E, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, that's your G major scale. That's what the chord is kind of derived from. Every chord is just basically made up of the first, third, fifth, and then the first again. 
Uh, the, so the sixth is kind of like a sort of stuck in note there, right? That's how you make these fancy chords. The sixth is, um, you could call it an add sixth or whatever. Uh, it's just by opening the open E. Uh, and that's what gives it that. So I'm going from the C to the, sort of just basically a walk down on the C to the A minor is what this chord is commonly used as. Um, G sixth with a B on the bass. I'm not, because I want the sound to come from the, the bass note on the C and fall down to the A minor, right? Um, oh, well, in this part it's A major rather, sorry about that. Don't mind my fleas, I think they're part of me. Um, and then that's when we go to the A. That same uh, that dissonant sort of complete timing change. I'm just a card in the gears, at first glance I'm satisfied, but it's only a shell to hide a vision of myself. And uh, so this is the only part that's really changed uh, on this second verse, uh, before we get to the bridge anyway. Uh, this part changes a little bit from the first part. Um, I'm just a cog in the gears, at first glance I'm satisfied But it's only a shell to hide a vision of myself Reflecting the faces of everyone else Not all of all yourself Uh, so that's where, uh, of, it's the of everyone else part That's got a G to the B7th that we didn't add in the first verse. We just went from that C. In the first verse, it's like, uh, the, st uh, the stars are my father and I've got welcome in my home. This time, we're not going right from the C to the 4-4 part. We're going from the C to high division of myself, reflected in the faces. Before we go to the 4-4, four four, we're going to do of everyone else, and then it goes into the G, the G in 4-4. Four four. I'm all up on peace, an alienated refugee from birth. Um, and it's weird for me to have the first verse different from the second verse, but weird is the way out of whatever you're stuck in, folks. Be creative. You're an artist, not a robot, you know? Try out. Try to throw weird things in like that, you know? As long as it's, it's got to... If it flows, man, then just do it. <laughs> uh, because, I mean, novelty and ecstasy and weirdness, you know? That's what keeps you from not seeing something. Yeah. <laughs> it kind of just gives you... I, well, I guess my point is that you can do that kind of thing because as creative artists, we need to be able to break out of the box and our mold and think in completely different ways in order to get out of everything that we've been in the whole time, to get out of genetic terrestrial memory. Anyway. Except this time we go and stay in the A major, or we go from the A major to the uh, that D7 slash F sharp. And then that leads us back into the G again for the last little bridge here. I'm just a spoke in the wheel, an interstellar carousel ride. This last part is just basically G to the F to the C until the end. When do I end? When do you begin? 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 It's I just kind of go whenever I 
like the feel. I like the lyric, it's seamless, because the idea is like, where do I end and where do you begin? We're, uh, we're both kind of different parts of the same object. Uh, anyway, so yeah, that's me uh, explaining Spoke in the Wheel, uh, an original tune of mine. And um, I hope you guys enjoy it um, and kind of see that you can, you know, you can do this kind of stuff, you know? A anybody can do this kind of thing. You just got to put a little bit of grease into the wheel, I guess. So, uh, now you guys are going to see uh, me playing a cover. Well, I guess me playing my own song, anyway. Um, <laughs> at, um, at the Pearson Pub in Whitby, Ontario, Canada. Uh, it's just another local haunt that I go to, and they're always cool people, cool crowds. You know, there's cool crowds everywhere you go, especially with an open mic scene. Uh, and it takes the love and dedication of the people that set those up, and I thank the people, uh, like Cheryl Stiles, uh, you'll see, is a lady who runs the Pearson Pub thing that I'm going to show you right now, me playing. Um, and she's uh, a big player down here in around the Durham region where I'm from. Anyway, so uh, check out me playing my tune at the Pearson Pub right now. Uh, and thanks for watching. Uh, how many do I have left, Cheryl? Four total, because I think you did two or three, I don't know. That's probably three. Okay, do one more? Yeah, cool. Right on. Thanks, Cheryl. Thank you for playing. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I'm going to get started. Yeah, yeah. All right. Cosmic songs. Um, so this is one that I wrote just a little bit ago. Hopefully, I can get it here. Stop. 
Well, folks, I got through it, right on. Okay, yeah, thanks a lot for watching, everybody. My name is Dustin Cormier. Uh, you can find me on YouTube as How to Rock a Campfire, teaching people guitar and stuff. And um, once again, thanks for the Pearson Pub for letting me hang out. Anyway, thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys around. Hey, thanks, brother. Right on. Big thanks to Dustin here yeah, and all of sure. you guys for playing so far. We've got Roland, MJ, and Joe coming up for you guys in just a couple of minutes. Stick around, stick around, stick around.